If you struggle to get a good quality turn in your golf swing, or to have your body move freely, it could be related to posture. And what I want to talk about today is three things that are going to really mess up your posture if you don't get them right, and mess up your ability to swing the club well. Hi, I'm Peter Knight. I've created this golf channel, Peter Knight Golf, to help you become the best golfer you can be. And if you like these videos, then please hit the subscribe button and also the gray bell notification icon. Better still, give it a like and maybe even comment on your thoughts about golf posture and my ideas in these videos. Standing with good posture is essential for being able to swing the golf club well, to stay in balance, and of course to get the, hit the shots that you're most looking forward to enjoying. Let's have a look at three things that are going to really give you problems when it comes to golf posture and swinging the club. The first of them is the rounded back. So if I set myself up here, you can see that my back is really quite rounded. Now, if you were driving a car, imagine that the axle was bent. What sort of ride would you get? It'd be pretty bumpy along the way. Our backs are not straight like an axle, but when we're in good posture, our spinal discs have the ability to move through their maximum range. They can only move a small amount, and if we're jamming some of them up, it's going to impede our ability to turn correctly. Now, one drill that you can do to help to flatten out that upper back especially, is if I hold the club behind my head here, so I've got one hand holding the grip as close as I can to my head, and the second is on my belt line. So now that virtually forces me into pretty good posture. Now when I tilt forward, if I lose contact with my head as I go forward, or lose contact at my belt line, or both, then my posture is going to be very rounded. Now this is exaggerated, it's not exactly what you would do with a golf swing, but from here, if I re retain contact with both those points, and I can also feel some contact with the middle of my back, and then tilt forward from my hips. So as I go forward, I'm actually retaining that contact. Now, when I do that, it might feel, I can feel a stretch through my hamstrings and through my glutes as I, as I tilt forward. That's fine. As soon as I flex my knees a little bit, that'll take some away some of that, that stretch. So that's the first drill, is to, is to get upper back flatter. Now, my upper body can rotate much more freely back and through, even if I feel a little bit stiff or a little bit wooden when I'm standing with that posture with upper back flatter as I'm tilted forward. That's point number one. Point number two, for, or for point number two, watch my belt line. So when I set myself up, when I'm standing completely upright, ideally my belt line should be fairly horizontal. If I'm standing correctly and my, my belt's in the right place. When I tilt forward, watch my belt. It doesn't move. And when it doesn't move, then my lower back is going to be quite vertical and my upper back is then going to be rounded. So that first point that I made about the back being rounded and the second one about the belt being horizontal, they're the same. Watch what happens when I tilt forward now. As I start to tilt forward, my belt line is going with me. So now, when I'm setting myself up to play a shot, we can see that my belt line is definitely tilted downwards. Now, I don't want it tilted down too much, and one thing that I can do is from here, if I tilt my belt line further down and then up, I want to find a spot that's comfortable so there's no stress on my lower back. If I tilt my, lower, my belt buckle down too much, then all of a sudden I can feel a lot of pressure in my lower back here. I don't want that. So I'll just tilt it up a little bit. So my belt's still tilted down, but not too much, and I don't feel any pressure on my lower back. Critical for golfers. So that's point number two. The third one is the amount of knee flex. So incorrect knee flex is if I set myself up and I'm standing here now. Now, in this position here, I feel like, yeah, I might be solidly balanced on the ground, but I can't move. Now, during a golf swing, as I turn back and through, I need my body to be able to move back and through. So I want to have optimal knee flex. A really good uh, guideline for that is that when I stand, stand up, if I hold this club 
in, on the front of my knee, it should go to about a third of the way from my, the end of my shoe to, well, toward the middle of my shoe. So one third of the way down my shoe. That's roughly where the laces end on most pairs of shoes. So when I'm setting myself up, I want my upper back flat, tilt forward from my hips, and then just unlock my knees. So that's gonna give me good posture. And then from there, I'm in a position to be able to swing the club well. So if you practice those drills, particularly if you're watching sideways so you can see your reflection in a mirror, that's gonna make a huge difference to your ability to play good shots. If I'm playing shorter shots, I might be standing, so if I'm hitting a, a little chip shot or something, I'm standing closer to the ball, but I'm still observing most of those posture points. So practice those and you'll find that it's gonna make a big difference to every shot you hit.